Hello everyone, my name is Glenn Morris, and I'm from the University of Minnesota, but in Rochester. Today, I'm at Blue Springs State Park in Orange City, Florida. Now this park is home to a lot of many touristy things, such as swimming, kayaking, canoeing, biking. But one of the main things that draws people in, as you can see by all the cars going by, is observing manatees. In the winter, Blue Springs State Park is a manatee sanctuary that allows manatees to escape the cold, frigid waters and come into nice, warm springs. Now this state park is located at St. John's River. If you're not familiar with that uh, geographical location in Florida, it's about central to upper northwest Florida. St. John's River is one of the larger rivers in Florida. But the important thing is that over 100 million gallons of water from aquifers and rivers run into this spring. So, as you can imagine, it leaves a lot of room for manatees to run and play. Now, like I mentioned, the purpose of today's video is to talk to you about the relationship that exists between Blue Springs State Park and manatees, and also the environment that they live in. Now, this will include everything from the physical environment that the manatee lives in, such as weather or human interference, and also non-physical environment as well. So that is also a very important factor of this talk. Climate change is a very large physical component. It has affected a lot of species in this park. But the manatee is something special. Manatees are considered umbrella species. So they take in everything in the environment. And if something's wrong with the manatee, odds are that there's something wrong with other species because the manatee being exposed to all of these different environmental factors. I will also talk about non-visible changes and when I specifically refer to these non-physical changes I'm referring to neurotoxins that are within the environment that are affecting manatees and also humans. Throughout this talk I will take you into the park into a manatee sanctuary where I hope to instill in you all the havoc that the environment has on not only the manatees, but also all these marine mammals, and the part that we can play in changing that. 